Today I want to share some products that TikTok videos made me buy and my honest opinion on those viral-ish products. We have spider cream, that clicky lip balm that people won't stop clicking, it's infuriating. And a serum that's supposed to help your fragrance last longer. But I'm going to start with a sponsored segment from Dalba. So this is the video that made me want to try the Dalba First Spray Serum and then I remembered I have tried the Dalba First Spray Serum before and I emptied it so I must have really enjoyed it. And this brand really focus on white truffle and I'm gonna be honest I'm a, I like truffle it makes me feel like really luxury white truffles often known as diamonds underground are chosen as a key ingredient for dower because of its antioxidant properties so as we can see, it's almost like a bi-phase spray serum. So up here we have plant-derived oils, we have avocado oil, sunflower seed oil, chia seed extract to help soothe and lock in that moisture and hydration. You know I love like a, a bi-phase thing spray. Then we have the white truffle serum with white truffle extract, which is an antioxidant and vitamin E and trufferol, which is Dalbo's painted ingredient. And this just gives you that really nice instant dewy glow. Now, obviously I'm not into makeup, but I know a lot of makeup artists to use this as a first stage before applying makeup to prep the skin, help with any dryness on the skin and kind of leave that underlying glow. You could spray it over makeup. For me, really, it's just the boosting, dewy, hydrating um, product. It's nice to just spray on top of like hydrating serums under your moisturizer to really help hydrate the skin. So obviously to use, really easy, you just shake it up and then spray it on. It's so lightweight as well. If you want that dewy look without having to pile on hydrating toners, glass skin creams, any of that kind of stuff, couple of sprays of this under your moisturizer over your moisturizer, under over makeup, it gives you that dewy glow without feeling greasy and oily in any way whatsoever. Now this one I really really love, this is from Dalba as well, and this is their White Truffle Double Serum Cream. Serum, oh, serum and cream. So it's exactly what it says it is, serum and cream. This is the Aqua Serum with vegan ceramide Centella Asiatica, so nice and calming, soothing, helps with the skin barrier. And then of course their white truffle. So as you can imagine by the looks of it, it's super lightweight. It's like a thick gel cream kind of consistency and very instantly cooling as well. And then down here we have the intense cream with collagen extract to really help moisturize the skin. And then a blend of eight different oils as well, including avocado oil, soybean oil, sunflower seed oil, and that collagen is plant-derived as well because all their products are vegan. What I love about this is you can customize how you use this according to your skin type. So, mine is forever changing. Dry, oily, dry, oily, dry. So I can use a different combination of the Aqua Serum and the Intense Cream on different places on my face depending on what the skin is like in that area. For the oily parts I use more of the Aqua Serum, for the dry parts I use more of the Intense Cream. So especially in the colder months it's really nice to give my skin the attention it needs in those different areas of my face. As I mentioned the White Truffle First Spray Serum I've used before, absolutely love it. This is one I'm going to take everywhere with me because of the actual glow that it gives me, the instant glow that it gives me, whilst all those ingredients are working to actually hydrate, soothe, moisturize my skin. This is still fairly new for me, first impressions still, but first impressions are very, very good. I absolutely love it so far. So check those out, the product links will be in the description down below. Right, let's talk about this annoying clicky pen. This is the NYX Fat Oil Slick Click shiny lip balm. This one, what flavour is this? Number two, clout. This is the thing with NYX and this is what they do. Their lip oil kind of, I think it went viral, but it didn't really. It's one of those videos where what they do, they have a new launch, the brand has a new launch, and then they sponsor a load of influencers, which is fine, but all at one time all at the same time. So a lot of paid adverts came out where they're saying the new viral NYX, it's not viral yet, it's viral because there is physically a lot of videos saying the product is viral. And I think the same thing kind of happened with their fat lip oils. But it's definitely happening with this. It's viral because people are saying it's viral and there is physically a large amount of videos out there. Another thing, <laughs> the videos are so annoying because the influencers always doing this. It's so annoying. <laughs> every single video. I think the brief must say, click, you know, keep clicking it, show them how much it clicks and blah, 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 blah. What I will say about that is you can click it a lot, but a lot doesn't come out, which I think is a good thing because it means once you click up, it can't click back down. So it does come out very slowly. This is kind of like a makeup skincare hybrid because there is a clear one, but these tinted ones are kind of their take on all the tinted lip balms that are coming out at the moment, which I'll be honest, I absolutely love. So the formulation is actually really nice. It's got avocado oil in and raspberry extract oil 
raspberry seed oil, which is really, really nicely moisturizing. Raspberry seed oil in particular, I didn't realize was in a lot of my lip balms. And I think I actually quite like Cloudberry in here, which is supposed to be a great antioxidant, can also help strengthen your skin barrier. Cloudberry seems to be um, a very popular ingredient this year. One that we didn't really see coming, I feel. It's also got um, omega-free fatty acids and is supposedly a very good form of vitamin C as well. So the formulation is actually really, really nice. It's not sticky on the lips. It doesn't transfer that much and it lasts a really, really, really long time. The color I think I picked wasn't quite for me. <laughs> it was a little bit too light. I, didn't, I thought I ordered the clear, but apparently I hadn't, I don't know. TikTok shop confuses me. It's very, very odd. But I actually really, really like it. And it's only $8.99 as well, which I think I, I think you're only gonna get like a small, I don't know how it's probably like there, but bear in mind you need the tiniest, tiniest amount and it does just slide and glide on with a really good immediate color payoff if that's what you're after. And I do feel like it's buildable as well. So I do like it. I just wish the annoying clicky adverts would stop. Would I buy these? Yeah, I think so. I think definitely test the colors because they're the swatches are like a little bit unreliable, but I genuinely think they're really, really decent. Okay, this is the Future Society Optimal Habit Fragrance enhancing primer base. No, that's wrong. Base infant. <laughs> so they say that this spray on serum type product is the optimal habitat for fragrance to flourish. They say our fragrance extended primer is designed to be the foundation layer for fragrance. When applied prior to fragrance, our primer magnifies the intensity of your fragrance from the moment of application and significantly extends wear time for up to 24 hours. And they say that arginine and citric acid create a balanced foundation to sustain the life of fragrance while skin calming peptides and hydrating ceramides aid in maintaining your skin's moisture barrier. So it was an interesting product because it's essentially skincare with peptides and ceramides and hydrating ingredients. So it sounds quite nice for the neck where we often, you know, we tend to ignore sometimes. So I've used this for the last four days. I've got to say, I think it works. It's a hard thing to assess because you don't, you, you can't really tell. So what I did do, I got my favorite fragrance, which is Eccentric Molecules, Molecule One, I believe it is. And this fragrance is kind of known for just being very clean, very minimal, but also the whole idea behind it supposedly is that you're not really supposed to smell it on yourself and other people smell it. So I thought if I sprayed this and sprayed this fragrance, which usually I could smell maybe for the first two hours of the day, then the rest of the day it smells like I'm wearing nothing, nothing. Yet I still get complimented on it that evening kind of thing. The smell does linger. If I can smell it by the evening, I think this has worked. And I tried this for a few days in a row and then also tried it without this for the next two days. And I smelt my fragrance all day, all day, all day. I could smell it. It smelled fresh and new every single time. There was one day I feel it didn't really work and that was a particularly active day. It got a little bit sweaty and I feel like the fragrance didn't really stick around. But if I was going to dinner, if I was having a work day, then going straight out with no real time to get ready in between, it's a nice little thing to kind of do and it kind of stops you respraying your fragrance throughout the day, making your fragrances last a lot longer. On that sweaty day, I was like, well, like, what's the point? Why don't I just respray my fragrance? And that kind of is the point. Like, I shouldn't have to with this. You know, there were days where I was like, is this really needed? Like, why don't I just respray my fragrance? And that is kind of the point. Like, save your fragrances, get the most out of them, make them last longer. Now, I think it worked. In my head, I'm like, this has worked. Could it have been a placebo in my head and maybe I was just more wary of the fragrance? Possibly, maybe. So I like to road test this a little bit more and kind of see if other people who don't know I'm wearing this think my fragrance is lasting longer or what side it's stronger on or if it's stronger than without, if that makes sense. But so far, so good. At $60 though, I would hold off for a little bit and give other people a bit more time to review this and see how well it works. Here it is, the Spider Cream, the Sol de Janeiro Delicia Drench Body Butter. So they say that this contains a blend of cabea resin and passion flower seed oil to help calm irritated skin. You're like dry skin you often get like on your arms and your legs. And prebiotic hibiscus nourishes the skin's natural microbiome to support its resilience. And then the scent is supposedly a new uplifting scent which immerses body and mind with enticing notes of vanilla orchard and sheer sandalwood for a mood boosting experience. With top notes of velvet plum and sugared violet, mid notes of whipped amber and vanilla orchard orchard, and then dry notes. I don't know what that is. I'm not a fragrance person. Sheer sandalwood and fresh vetiver. Now, <laughs> this how do I say? Mm, I can, I understand why young kids like Sol de Janeiro. It does take me back to body shop, vanilla body spray days when I was back in school. It's like that, uh, warm, musky vanilla smell that I'll be honest with you. I think 
you can get in a lot of products, a lot of basic vanilla scented products, but it kind of smells like a little bit maturer. It's like a little bit sweet, and I don't know why they call it uplifting, because it's not really uplifting. If anything, it's like comforting and a fragrance I would wear to bed, if anything. We have like glycerin and squalane in here, so amazing hydrating and moisturizing ingredients. There's shea butter, coconut oil, you know, all, all the main players you'd expect to see in a body butter body cream. It's fine. It's nice if you like a vanilla scent and want to pay £48 for 250 milliliters. I don't know, I find that a little bit steep. This is the 75 mil and it's $22. Actually, I don't know if that's bad or not. I think that's all right, you know. I think that's okay. No, bearing in mind, you go through body cream so quickly. All in all, this is a really nice body butter body cream. It's very thick, it's very thick. And I'll be honest, once the scent is on your skin, it kind of dries down to start smelling like warm milk and honey, which isn't nice when it's on your skin. It's a little bit, it's a little bit sharp, kind of like Greek yogurt-y kind of smell. As a body butter though, it, it goes on the skin so nicely. It's not sticky. It's not greasy. It's not heavy. You know, you won't feel like you're leaving your scent on, you know, sofas that you sit on on your clothes. If you like the Sol de Janeiro body butter formulations, you will love this. You'll absolutely love it. But I do feel like it's nothing special. I feel like if you don't own this, you're not missing out. And I'm pretty sure you could find this smell in Body Shot at a much cheaper rate, to be honest with you. It's not bad though. It's not bad at all. Okay, Thayer's Hydra milky toner with snow mushroom and hyaluronic acid. So I actually was gifted this in PR a while back. I posted my PR video only recently though. I took this away with me for something we were doing in London. We were like filming and I actually left the gifted product in uh, the bathroom with a few other good products in the hotel room. So this is a relatively new one that I repurchased because I, I wanted to keep trying this. If I take a product away with me to an event or like to a hotel room, it's usually a good sign that I'm enjoying the product so far. A dog hair just like flew onto me. So this is the Milky Hydrating Face Toner with Snow Mushroom and Hyaluronic Acid. A snow Mushroom is an ingredient that every year I'm like, oh, this is going to be the year of the Snow Mushroom because it's basically a really, really good humectant. It's got a smaller molecular size than Hyaluronic Acid, so supposedly can penetrate the skin a little bit deeper, giving you a deeper hydration. And then of course, Hyaluronic Acid in the form of Sodium Hyaluronate, yes, and Glycerin. And this is what I, I, I do enjoy about this toner is that it is a milky toner and usually milky toners have that little bit more of like a moisturizing edge to them. They still hydrate, but they do sit a little bit thicker on the skin. This one is incredibly light, very watery, but does a really good job of doing basic hydration. I wish this was in a, a spray bottle actually. It's really no thrills, which I kind of expect from Thayer's being like a very old fashioned brand. No thrills, but gets the job done to the point where I'm gonna think like I had used it up to here, up to the old man's chest, my old bottle. And I do think I'm gonna get through this with no issue and pretty quickly as well. This is my only issue with the Thayer's toner is it foams up, but once that's all gone and rubbed in, the skin is left feeling super hydrated, so it doesn't bother me enough to stop using it because I like the outcome. And I think at $15 for 350 milliliters, that's actually really decent. A little bit goes a very long way, and when applied onto damp skin, it does just give you that extra boost of dewy looking skin and hydration. No frills whatsoever. Does the job it's supposed to do with two very good key, well three, glycerin, snow mushroom, and sodium hyaluronate. Hydrates the skin well and effectively. They say that this is particularly good for um, dry and sensitive skin, but because it's so hydrating rather than the more moisturizing side of like milky toners. Oily skin people like myself, I've got oily T-zone, can use this with absolutely no issue and really, really enjoy it as well. I think they're doing this toner a disservice by only saying it's for those with dry and sensitive skin. Even in the summer when I'm oily, this will still help hydrate and moisturize without weighing me down or adding any kind of like moisturizing bulk to my skin. I'm really impressed. This is the third, is it the first thing as product I've used? I think it is, I don't know. I can't remember, but I'm actually really, really impressed. They sent me a few other bits which I've not cracked open yet, but for a very accessible, affordable, bulky toner, I think this is a really decent product. I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's move on to Fenty Skin. I've actually really, really been enjoying their recent releases. They went a little bit Claire's accessories for me with their products, like the Cookies and Cream Mask, but I've really been enjoying their lip products. And also, this Cherry Dub Blah, Cherry 
Dub Blood Too Bright 5% AHA Face Mask. This is a exfoliating face mask, basically, that claims to improve skin texture in just one week. They got their triple cherry complex in there, which is like a Fenty skin staple. They say it's enzyme rich extract and fermented to gently exfoliate whilst, whilst fruit water hydrates the skin. Got vitamin C in here, great antioxidants to help even skin tone. Panthenol to help soothe and moisturize the skin. They got 5% AHAs, which is glycolic and lactic acid. And then they also have salicylic acid in here as well, which I don't know why they don't mention that. To help with pores. So they say to apply an even layer to clean dry skin, leave for five to 10 minutes, rinse away. Use a two to three times a week on non-consecutive days for best results, which is some of the better exfoliating advice I've seen from brands when it comes to the ex exfoliating products. But within about two weeks, I do feel like it made a difference. I've been getting some pigmentation on my forehead, so I'm kind of working on that. But I do feel like my skin looked brighter. I've not used AHAs for a very, very long time. Oh, other than the, the Slurp Laboratories decal. But I think using such a higher percentage of AHAs, I saw quite a quick difference because I'm, I'm not used to using them that much anymore. So I'm gonna continue to use it because I'm seeing positive results so far. My one issue with this, my one issue with this is actually the texture. I think this jelly-like texture is great for application of a mask, especially with exfoliants in so it's not dripping into your eyes and things like that. The jelly texture really allows you to lay it on, get a nice even spread, apply it exactly where you need it to be. However, it is a bitch to clean off. It's so annoying to clean off. It's almost waterproof and slimy. So when you come to clean it off, you do kind of need to wipe it away with like a washcloth or something. Even then, however, like the first night I used it, I used a, a, a flannel or washcloth to what like wipe everything away. The next morning I woke up with some irritation around my eyebrows. So I went to the bathroom and kind of like got some micellar water to kind of um, just wipe away at my face and kind of see what was going on. There was still red coming off onto the cotton pad. I hadn't wiped it away well enough, but I thought it was all gone. I thought it was all gone, but it was like stuck in my eyebrows, my hairline, there was some in the corner here. And of course you do this after cleansing, so I'm not then gonna go in and cleanse. I could do, there's no reason why I couldn't, but it's just a bit of a bitch to get off. So you really, really need to make sure you're wiping away with something, otherwise it's gonna cling to the skin. But other than that, I'm actually really enjoying this product. And their lip products, I absolutely love their new lip products too. So yay, I'm, I I want to love Fenty Skin, but some of their choices of, I don't know, just confuse me, I guess. Bubble have gotten a lot of recognition recently. I mean, they're amazingly popular anyway, but with the younger kids now wanting to get into skincare, Bubble seems to be one of the more favored brands. And I honestly believe they're one of the brands that I, if I was an adult, a parent, sorry, I am an adult. If I was a parent, I'd feel comfortable with my kids using. This is their Cloud Surf Water Cream Moisturizer. On their website they say this light as air water cream moisturizer quenches and rebalances normal to combo skin without feeling sticky or heavy. Cloud Surf's fluffy perfection also minimizes the appearance of pores, helps rebalance your oils on your skin and leaves your face looking and feeling smoothed, nourished and also natural even after makeup. And for reference they say that this texture wise is somewhere in between creamy slam dunk and balancing gel base level up. So their key ingredients is hibiscus extract to help control sebum production, celery seed extract to help minimize the appearance of pores, lilac extract to mattify and equalize the tone of acne prone skin. This is really, really nice. This is really nice. I was impressed by the other, other bubble moisturizers, but for me with combination skin, oily and dry, this is one of those moisturizers that I'm coming across quite commonly recently actually. That is great for both. It's great for both. It's moisturizing enough. It's hydrating enough. It's heavy where it needs, not heavy, but it's, it's moisturizing and nourishing enough where it needs to be, but also light enough where I'm very, very oily. And it's watery, just like glides over the skin. It feels quenching as well. It's a true watery cream. It's almost like the consistency of a serum, but just that tiny bit thicker that allows you to use it as a moisturizer. Like if you put this in a serum bottle, I'd be like, oh yeah, serum. Some of the natural ingredients are questionable and always backed up by a lot of science, but that doesn't mean that they don't work. We have to remember that people aren't investing money in a lot of cosmetic ingredients because it's just not worth the time or the money for a lot of people. But overall, as a moisturizer, it does a great job. For £16, I think it's decent. A little bit goes a long way. One pump, one to two pumps usually is fine for my face and neck. But I think it's nice. For me, the weather's like maybe a little bit too
too cold and I need a little bit more than this at the moment. But for summer, this is going to be perfect or just as like a daytime moisturizer or even in the evenings, actually, when I just want to moisturize my skin, then slug over the top of it. Oh yeah, that would be perfect, actually. That would be really good. But I'm impressed. I'm impressed if you have teenagers, if you have kids that are getting into skincare, Bubble and Bioma actually are two perfect brands to kind of start their skincare journey with effective but gentle products as well. I, I enjoy it. I really, really enjoyed this. So there we go. Those are some viral-ish products that I really, really wanted to try, kind of products that TikTok videos convinced me of buying as well. Thanks to Dalva for sponsoring the beginning segment of this video. You can find the products all linked in the description box down below. Watch some product reviews here, I guess, and some general light entertainment here, and I'll see you over there.